Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another stream of Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today I am joined with my beautiful wife miss lucy go ahead and say hey hi yeah all right and we are going to continue some boulders gate i am excited we may or may not be able to finish act one i don't know depends on miss lucy right probably not. yeah probably not i know you're slow it's okay i'm i'm not saying that's a bad thing don't give me that look jesus christ <laughs> anyhow let's go ahead and get our um streaming or our game screen on miss lucy is drinking some peanut butter beer right now trying not to giggle as she's taking a sip <laughs> it's okay how does the peanut butter beer taste by the way Nice and like creamy. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> you really going to give that one to me? <laughs> Come on now. You can have it. All right, fine. I'll have it. <laughs> all right, you lead the way. It's it's all on you. It's all on you. Where are we going? We go in south, we go in east or no, that would be west, not east, right? Well, north this over north, here would be east. Yeah. Going this way. North, south. That would be west. Or west. I believe. As long as up here is north. Mm hmm I don't know. Can't really tell. It doesn't say. But. Well, well, where are you feeling? I'm just a simple gnome mm. following my barbarian mistress. I'm not That's romancing Shadowheart. I will punch a Starion in his stupid face. I will jump to punch a Starion in his stupid face. Oh, if that's he, nice. If he, hey, if he romances you, I will punch him in the face. Matter of fact. Where did we really come from? Where is Wow, there's a shovel in the air. I don't know, so I guess we're gonna head over here to try and find what's his face, right? Who? Rescue the druid? Yeah, sure. Wherever you wanna go. I, I was just, goblin, you know, I I hitting a Starion with a shovel. Don't mind me. Are you gonna hand him over? Oh, that's right. I, have, I hate that. Or were you wondering why he was following you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of annoying that I have to always yeah, that is actually kind of very inconvenient I nauseous not wrong though. yeah wherever you want to go don't forget about the horn that you got from those uh what were they ogres I don't know they were oh, shreks yeah. right like three oh, different what? shreks shrek Really? Yeah. Shrek was an ogre, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Okay, so they were three Shreks. Jesus Christ. What yeah, I say that was wrong? <laughs> Those three giant green creatures. Wow. So I was right. They were Shreks. You just didn't want to admit it. Sure. Okay, well, you lead the way, lady. Here, I don't know, you tell me. That's uh, curious. Well, found something. <clears throat> um, don't, yeah, don't forget about R3. R3 is your friend. Hold it down. Are you sure it's my friend? Yeah. Ooh, um, I'll give you the gold, but I'm taking all of that. Okay. Uh, just because, you know, playing 
No. Well, yes. I'm playing kind of a mage b build, but not really a mage build. More of a bard that can use spells. God, even when I'm running, <laughs> <laughs> you're faster than me. I'm just watching. Hey, that's okay. That's okay. Ooh, what's that? I really don't know where we're going. I don't know where you're going either. Oh, going into a big circle. That's yeah. <laughs> well, it was like, hey, there's a bridge over that way. And you're like, yeah, what's, what's okay. the difference? You really are a barbarian. You're like, meh. <laughs> Wait, it's open. Why does it say open? There you go. It's a hunter oh. stash. Okay. With nothing in it. But I mean, there's a there is a bridge over this way. Yes, that... no, I saw it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try not to but distract I it, you. I thought I would um, go in a circle. Around. It's cool. Yeah. Take a look around. <laughs> oh. Did you want me to do the talking, or did you want to do the talking? What? It doesn't matter either way. Um. I suppose your character should right now because it has more charisma. Right? Yeah, I am a bard. Yeah, I do have so the highest charisma. <clears throat> I would try to. I, I want to get some information, so I don't want to like. But I, I, everybody. Yeah, I do want to role play. I do want to role play. So if there is a situation where you're feeling more like inclined as, well, I don't give a shit what a bard has to think. Yes. Okay. Well, anyways. So. My go? Alright. Yes. I, I don't... I don't want to go get into the, uh, some shit over Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. <laughs> Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Looks like you get slapped in the face. Ooh. Damn. Intimidation. I could do deception. I could do. Um, actually, I'm a hired sword. Employers inside. Uh, why don't you? Stand aside, you lowly plebe. <laughs> Jesus <Nice>. Christ. <laughs> okay. Down, Claw, bad girl. She's a little overexcited. Been a busy day. Lads are celebrating. Um. I'm looking for someone named Halson. Have you seen him? Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. The pits? He couldn't be somewhere pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. Uh, what's that noise coming behind you? Is it good? Or is it bad? Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. A raid? A raid on what? Rip the guts out of Joaquin's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some duke. Worth celebrating, that is. Oh, I suppose it is worth celebrating. Well, I salute you, sir. Be all in my 
safe to come through. Uh, yeah, thank you for letting us have a much easier time getting through here. Fair enough. Instead of me just bashing on some foreheads. I mean, we could have done that too. <laughs> I would have been okay with that regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I the center of attention right now? You were in front of me. Hear my voice. I s suppose. Obey we should have done this command. on your... You're okay. You're good. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others. Only infinitely stronger. And turned against you. Your vision clouds. Leaving you in a dark featureless shadowscape nothingness in every direction then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command a handsome younger man with a quick easy smile and a pale young woman with even paler eyes these are my chosen they speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. Feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. Shadowheart saved us. Not such a bad person now, huh? I didn't think so to begin with. Oh, don't I don't give know. me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. Um, Shadowheart, you got a little bit of explaining to do first. What is that thing that you have? I already asked you about it once. What's going on? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Well, why do you need to get it back to Baldur's Gate? What aren't you telling me? I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Well... You're talking about the Shar, the Dark Goddess, or Goddess. <laughs> um... Well... I'll leave it as it is, for now. Thank you for sharing. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. Can you tell me a little bit about that artifact? What do you think just happened? There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. 
A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. Um, how about you keep this thing safe? We may need it in the future. Trust me. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. So glad that the man can tell her, oh, that's okay. You can keep it now. Like, yeah, she already had it. Like, what <laughs> Who's to say that it won't uh -huh. make its way to me? I'm pretty yeah. awesome. Uh -huh. I think it would be in we, we safe hands with me. You can't have the lady have an artifact because, oh, no, it's too dangerous. It she is. She might hurt somebody. It is. I got to hold on to it. You know, so she doesn't hurt you got, me or you, anyone else. You ladies have that monthly cycle. <laughs> takes a lot of blood from that brain. <laughs> brings it down below. You lose all that and all that thinking. You know, it, it may okay. yeah. be better in a man's hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, baby. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you, mean uh, it. I, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> you lead the way. <laughs> Unless you feel like there's some talking that needs to be done. Well, I don't see anyone over here yet. Uh, maybe. Uh, oh, those are a bunch of goblins. You go first. Oh, thank you. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. You want oh, me to talk to the bard? A stranger in or do you want to talk camp. to the bard? Be you beguiling me. Oh, be you beheaded. He looks rock. Oh, because you might have been sneaking for a second. Alright, I'm going to talk to the bard. Are you ready? Absolute. Oh, okay. His troop. With. Fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. Yeah. The inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filth any. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul. Had led you collide. <laughs> um, That's terrible. <laughs> Continue rhyming. For a soul's not been truer than the Razzlin named Durr. Oh. oh, I'll get it. Oh, I'm a bard, baby. <laughs> I'm only uh, gonna get better. That was good. Carry it on, pitting. Mm. And if you saw him kill manlings, you'd have to yell, "Hum, fa!" I heard of Razzlin. Cast shadows that are twenty leagues wide. <laughs> you all right, baby? <laughs> mm. No. <laughs> Why? Uh... He's a meatier creature than any I've spied! Oh, Balderdash! Oi, stranger! You make him with my pigeon! He's talking stupid now! Come, 
Let's continue our ballad. <coughs> Uh, draw rags, Lynn. Uh, draw rags, Lynn. Um, uh, um, uh, I am a draw rags, Lynn. Um, um, come choose. Uh, draw rags, Lynn. Uh, um. Bah! You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw rags, Lynn. We pray. We. Uh... <laughs> come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Now, babe, it don't oh, feel right messing with it, is all. Of course, ma'am. My name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. No fool me. Do you mind if I talk to one other goblin? Oh, she just left. You want to follow me, my love? Sad to a well, goblin over it. here. It won't for sale. You going on the next round? Oh, Statue of Saluna. Fresh his arm with me bare hands. We could him pick his humans. Ha ha ha! You got him good. And who are you? Another pest? You're just a teensy gnome, and you think you rule the world? Ah! As the symbol glows. Power courses through you. Authority. Mm. I don't think so. In fact, I think you're nothing but dirt beneath my feet. Kiss my feet. Well, not us. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss my foot. <laughs> or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your face. Kiss the damn foot. Worse things have been shoved in your face lately. Matter of fact, how about you kiss my foot instead? Look, mate, just piss off. You're not welcome here. I wasn't asking. You better kiss my foot now. <laughs> the goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. There. I've done it. Arrogant swine. I get out of here. He... He kissed! Uh, what was I saying? Uh, I just had to talk to me. I gotta take a piss. It's your turn to do some talking now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hitting the mic so hard, everybody. I, I apologize if I'm, like, fucking the mic up here. Drag yeah, you can talk to the kids. Oh, no, you don't want to? Okay, that's cool, too. That's the lot of it. Hey! Oh, yeah, he was peeing. Ew. Ew. Puke sting. Ew. No, no, thank you. <laughs> There's a ton of people to talk to. Should take a trophy. Here. Slightly drunk. Oh, I'm great. I ain't paid to talk. Keep walking. When they say like slightly drunk, damn. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the uh, controller down that hard. Uh, when they're slightly drunk, just know that when we're 
if we decide we to fight them, they the have disadvantage it's on their attacks because they're slightly the drunk. Okay. Let's hope we find them in one piece. Did you see that? Someone just got him, got Crusher to kiss his feet. <laughs> Foot. It's a secret, Rudge. Between you and me. That. That was amazing. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I wonder who that person <laughs> was, <laughs> baby. Oh, I have no idea. No. Not a clue. Too fat. <laughs> Dragons is fat and they fly fine. Ah, <laughs> Ah, uh, drink's going straight through me! Don't be soft! We looted an entire inn! Brought back enough booze to drown a dragon! Where are the booze? Yes, so then booze. we nicked it off! <laughs> Down one mug of ale for every throat we cut! <laughs> Where's the booze? I'm still just a bib. I don't it. feel like right messing with it is all. Well, I want some booze. What kind of coward won't even chase a baby? We playing or like what? On the wall there. No, look at the poor little owl bear. You know, like that owl bear. You can talk to him if you want. Well, now nah. you look like a toughen. But have you got smarts, skills, guts? Quite possibly. All that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This... This is chicken chasing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at that poor little thing. Chicken chasing? Go ahead, chase that chicken. Uh, well, for starters, that is not a chicken. Just, just saying. It's got what feathers, is it? don't it? A beak. I don't know. Besides, it's an owl bear. I reckon it owes us, seeing as how it just owl ate our last bear. chicken. <laughs> reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? Games could be fun. What is it exactly? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You yeah. just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bested by the bird. How do you run again? You don't. <laughs> you just gotta make sure that nobody's in your party. Oh, you gotta hit triangle on that. There you go. Yes, uh, sounds e easy enough. <sighs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Yeah, sure, why not? 300. Jesus yeah, do the 300. You no, got this, baby. Absolutely not. No. I don't trust my legs that much. No. <laughs> You're a barbarian! <laughs> we Pretty got the boss. coin. Yeah, we got the challenger. Now Please. we just need not. the crowd, eh? No biggie. Yeah. We started Chase the chicken. <laughs> yeah, this one's big chicken. You gotta get. I gotta get what? You gotta get it to move to the end. I gotta like push it. Go yeah, on. get it to move. To the there you go. There you go. Keep, keep going. Like it didn't want to get out of the corner. You gotta get it to that middle part. Well, it, I'm. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, boom! Oh, what? <laughs> there we go. The game done. Come here. <laughs> when I win. 
60 bucks. Whoop whoop. Yeah, she's up there. Come here. Yeah, I tried. Well, look here. That thing works even better in a chicken. Reckon we won't eat it after all. So, uh, you got my uh, winnings? Pardon? Your what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chase. Says so in the rules. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, smack him so hard. Hmm. <laughs> you got a barbarian intimidation check. You got advantage on anything that's barbarian, you automatically get an advantage on. Then I guess I'm running some new rules. In blood and goblin. Hide. Oh, God. Oh, you got this, baby. <laughs> oh, oh you don't so have this. So got this right here. That was awesome. I'm sorry, roll again. <laughs> Press square, roll again. I'll oh, shut up one. this time. What? <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Two critical failures? Go ahead and roll inspiration one more time, because that's that. Who can say they got snake eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Probably a lot of people, <laughs> but oh that was God. some bullshit. R roll again. All right, let me maybe hold it down a little bit. No, <laughs> I guess they just—they don't want me to have it. No, they don't like me. <laughs> rules are rules, mate. Walk away while you can, eh? Ugh, where are you at? I don't even know where you went. In the center of the goblins, right next to you. Look, see? I'm gonna talk to her. Well, now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? Mm, I can handle myself just fine. What do you want? No doubt, mate. But this ain't dragons or demons or anything else you might have faced. This, this is chicken chasing. Um, for starters, that ain't no chicken chasing. That is an owl bear. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides. I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? Hmm. I guess it could be fun. What are the rules? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just got to chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been breasted by the bird. Mm. Yeah, sure. Sounds fun. Count me in. Fun? Show a bit of respect, mate. This is serious business. Besides... We gotta agree stakes before we begin, don't we? Uh, what stakes are that? You gonna wager 300 gold on it? Cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. Or maybe I'm about to make a heap of coin. Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? We're starting a new game! Move your eyes!
Chase that thing! <laughs> Oi, what's the thing? <laughs> Careful now! That's a last chicken! We're gonna have a win! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Woo! So done. hard. Come here. Get me axe! Bloody idiot! Who took the inky free? It won't for sale! <laughs> Who wants another drink? Well, look here! That thing works even better in a chicken! Reckon we won't eat it after all. Um, how about you hand over my winnings? Pardon? Your what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chase. Says so in the rules. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. How about you be returning my coin and yours. Oh, he's a disadvantage. And then a two? All you need is a two. <laughs> Sorry, I know the game, baby. You're a. You're a true soul. Here, it were only a bit of fun. All yours. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel Sorry. sated. Just, just a bit of fun. No disrespect, men. <laughs> she ran away. Where'd the fucking owl bear go? This is my it left wither, I suppose. I've seen it run off. It's right there. None of you Where? want to join the chase. Enemy? Two chicken for the chicken. Try and talk to that owl bear. Well, lost I'm lost in the maze. I'm sorry. You can't see where everybody's at. I'm lost in the maze. It's not a matter of seeing anybody. It's a matter of being stuck in this maze. Are you so tiny you got stuck in there? Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. Hungry. Um. Are you okay? I have a camp. You're welcome to come over there. New home? Maybe. Got to get away from here first. The cub seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with one way or the other. Okay. All right. I guess, uh... What's that? I think I heard the absolute voice just now. That's the drink talking. Absolute wouldn't speak to a worm like you. Oh, oh I did not mean to do that. Sorry. Like the boss of priestess. Is this the main lady or something? Mm. All the great chasers are dead. Funny An act of vandalism has taken place. You might want to clear up. I didn't mean to hit mess. that. I was trying to run away. I confess, it was me. I'm sorry. You have a convincing air of innocence it. about you. That's enough for now. All right. You can take me to jail. Good job. Sorry. Now we gotta bail you out. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you do not. Or, or break you free and out of jail, huh? Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid-dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Who 
humans ain't good for much. But they make tasty beer. Ready to get a game going. Tasty even better when you nick it out of there. I'll be uh, catching up with you soon, babe. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yeah. Eventually, what the? Where the fuck am I at? You've been caught trying to flee your imprisonment. Choose your next move carefully. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Try to talk my way out of this. Um, do I? Look like someone who belongs in these cells. This was certainly a mistake. Come on. I, I mean, I'm just passing through. It worked. You prove hard to argue with. You're free to go. Lucky, lucky. I gotta go save Shadowheart. <laughs> She's in here. You do your thing, babe. <laughs> Why didn't you have her follow you? I can't. I'm short, small, little, tiny. You're a girl guy? Yeah, just a little guy. You need help? Oh, that's good, I hope. No. Nice and chewy. Oh, it's, yeah. Maybe I do. From a Starion. Starion's got the lock picking skills. Where are you guys? <laughs> We're way in the fucking, like, actual place. <sighs> well, we got imprisoned. I'm sorry. I got put in jail. I didn't mean it. Well, if I get put in jail, they're just gonna lock him behind a bar, and then that's... Yeah, so that's no good. So you should just walk through the front door. The front door of... What? The absolute front door. Like, there's a door that's big. It's wide. This it's there. There you go. This monstrous... <laughs> yeah. Are they killing you? Real fun. There we go. I'm following you now. <laughs> Where is she? She's over to the right. Come up here. It smells like burnt flesh in here. Mm, delicious. You want to talk to these guys first, or do you want me to talk to them? Poor lad. Or not. I could give okay. You peace, you know. My bad. It's on me. But no. Okay. You gotta keep silent, don't I'm sorry. you? Sorry. Where do they flee to? You stubborn rat. Please stop. Poor guy. Ah, oh, here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. The mark glows. But you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Um. Actually, why don't you go have yourself a drink? Your boss sent me to relieve you. I'll be taking over interrogation and torture. Sound good? Oh, I guess that's not gonna work. Mm. Scrawny thing like you? I'll believe that when I see it. Um. <laughs> well, I'm a little out of practice. Another time, I suppose. Get out then! Wasting my time like that! <laughs> Tell me right. 
I'll set my rats on you. Would you like me to try? Or? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I would love for you to try. I'm watching you. Spike promised that any meat that falls off is mine. That's gross. You gotta hit L3 and click on the guy with the white coat. What you still here for? I said out! Hmm. Oh. Damn. Didn't matter. Good job. Sorry. That's on me. Um, <laughs> well, can't win them all. How about this? You talk to that guy over there. Okay, over, over here. Where I'm standing. Yeah. Does he got yeah. To say? Take the abuse, baby. Uh, excuse me? Uh, you, you'll see. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? What on earth do you mean? I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But alas, these goblins seem to thrive on the crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Um, why are you beating yourself? Because, uh, you look pretty messed up. <laughs> I realize this looks strange, but I assure you, it is a most intimate form of worship. You see, pain is a loving thing. But trying to explain it to these goblins has proven. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes... Something terrible has happened to you. Clever man, how'd you know? Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. Uh, how would you even do that? As the maiden of pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance. Administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. Mm, I must see this. Don't you dare say no. <laughs> hey, historian wants to see it. Yeah, he wants to see me get whipped <laughs> and beaten. Are you serious? <laughs> what the hell is this going to do? I don't want to cause a ruckus, so I guess, all right, or else I would just break your arm off. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Right. Simply face the wall, and we can begin.
face the wall and let us begin, dear one. Jesus. Move to the wall and face it, child. Well, he's not very specific. <laughs> Jesus. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Get a barbarian. <laughs> Intimidation. More. More. Bring it on. Pansy. What was that? Really? Was that a hit? You have a square. You can add a bonus. Oh. Mm, yeah, don't use a bardic inspiration till we need it. Oh. Thank yeah. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that one though. <laughs> That's scary. You want more, as you wish, dear one. Oh, bravo! Encore. Oh yeah. <laughs> Starion, man. I'm glad you were enjoying this. <laughs> wonderful, just wonderful. Got to do, barbarian. What a beast. Keep beating the crap out of me, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful. You want more? I'll give it to you. It was a fine strike. Excellent form. <laughs> Good God. That's it! Welcome the pain! Let it become part of you. My god, now I'm just gonna yell more? Oh my lord. Boy. <laughs> we'll bust the rhymes on him. You Use got this, mind. baby. Use my. Oh, five. Really? You don't need my bardic inspiration. Yes, my child. More for Loviata. More. <laughs> Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. It's up to you what you say, my love. You could have hit me much harder, you pansy. You're starting to sound like the goddess herself, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. You keep that blessing for the whole game, by the way. And nice. on a personal note. Isn't that crazy? Thank you. That, that is an amazing blessing for a fucking And, mm. and like you got inspiration. Lose. So fucking high <laughs> five for getting some inspiration, baby. Uh. Even so Shadowheart was inspired. <laughs> Shadowheart's like, damn, I couldn't even see that, but I could hear it. <laughs> uh, you freak. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Bring it quiet. Move with care. What are you trying to do over there? Don't worry about me. Shadow heart. Softer than a whisper. It looks like homie was over there. Shadow heart's over here, though. Yeah, you're going the right way. Yeah. You sit over here. Yep, yep. Know. Across that. 
wooden half ass bridge. I just want to see how you go about this whole situation. Is that where she is? Yep. Inside the door. Oh, I didn't know it was a door. And then up top here. If you can uh, lockpick this door. Oh yeah, it's not good to do. With pleasure. Here we go. Oof. Nice. You're getting that no matter what, love. <laughs> Holy shit. I've got a long road ahead. Well, Helsin is down over here. Should we try to save him? Oh, wow. Sorry. He squealed. <laughs> he did again. Keep your hands steady, three. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! What the fuck do you think you're doing, you little shits? We're juicing it up! The beasts came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs! Makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. Leave him alone. You think that's funny? What are you? Get lost if you can't stand a bit of rough housing. Release me. Get rid of them. I don't like what you're doing to that bear. Time for blood. I can't do shit. Come on, kid. Fight yep. Kid. Yep. It's a kid. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares later. It's a goblin. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh. you. Mm hmm. Percent. Your time has come. I thought she had a weapon. Oh, she doesn't have a weapon because she got put in jail. Oh yeah. Oh. And neither do I, because I got put in jail. So where is all your weapons and stuff? That's why you couldn't do anything. What path lies before me? Well, you know, I can go up and just give it a knock on the forehead. Yeah. If you got enough time for that. I'm gonna run and try to grab the weapons that are in the... Uh, 
evidence shit. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Ugh. Can't win them all. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Oh, yuck. Oh. <laughs> it's alright. I'll punch that stupid spider in his Ooh, face, love. Your hair is at me. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. No, I'm gonna beat it, the life out of it, okay? Because that's nasty. That's that's disgusting. Yeah, beat the shit out of it, babe. What do you mean it can't reach it? You should be able to get all the way over there. Go ahead and do a jump. And then... Oh! You should... Oh, you can't rage. But you can get reckless attack. <laughs> oh my goodness, I guess. Tenacity. Uh, let's see. Get over go? here. Spider or not? No. What? You have advantage on that. You're in the way. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're good. Critical miss, because you suck. I'm sorry. No, because your big old forehead's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> my bad about my big forehead, my love. <laughs> What's up, K9? Sorry, me and mother. Me and my wife are arguing about my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, my dude? I hope you're doing well. My forehead is not that big. <laughs> oh, he let him out. Damn, I can't believe I did not notice that I had no weapon. Oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> Just, you know, you're a barbarian. Kill things. Fuck yeah, man. Glad to hear it. How was, uh, have you done another session with, um, your campaign or no? Ooh, hit R1, you might have another attack. Keep hitting R1. No, ouch. All right, you're good. <laughs> Non-lethal attack. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to knock. <laughs> yeah, judo chop. You don't want to knock the spider out. <laughs> Uh, fire. Oof. Oof. I shouldn't have moved that far. Let's be honest. Command. Halt. Nice. Got it. I won't give in. Mm. 
There you go. Oh, ouch. That's always the yeah. hardest, though. Scheduling D&D &D sessions, it's like everybody can get together, but there's always one person. Hopefully that it all gets set, set up, my dude. not on me oh it is on me I'm like it's not on me oh yes we got it Halston is like really sucking right now um who's dropping out by the way what kind of class are they if you don't mind me asking, is it an important class? There you go, babe. Yeah. And then get that reckless attack. Fuck him up. You got 12. You should. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh my god. Take it all, lady. No, not spells, damn it. Sorry. Well, you got to it. Nice. No choice but to keep going. Oh, damn, that's rough. A dropout is always hard because you got to work around that. I'm so sorry. Because there's nothing you can do about that. When it when it's somebody that's dropping out, you know what I mean? Damn. You know, we always wish the best for everybody. <laughs> When it comes to D&D. &D. It just sucks when we have a dropout. You know what I mean? And, and not that a dropout is like bad essentially. But it's like we got a campaign built around a certain amount of people. And then we have a dropout. And we got to build around that. I'm sorry my dude. Okay, okay, okay. I get what you mean. My bad. My bad. You can throw an axe, too. Like, you can throw a weapon. You're a barbarian. You can throw anything you want. You can pick somebody up and throw them if you really want to. I want to do. Go over to your left. Keep going. Oh, you, Jesus Christ! Where are you at? There's so much stuff okay, going on. Because I want here. Okay. And rage throw. Yep. Go over to your right. Press R one. Ah, right there. There's throw. There you go. That's where it took me again. Okay, so you got a lot to throw. Yeah, this is like everything I'm holding. Why is... Um, where hold is on. It? Press circle. Get out of this all together. Press circle. Um, so are you wanting to throw a goblin? Uh, yeah, I was gonna throw 
Yeah, I guess a goblin. Press square. Throw. And then you want to throw that at him? Yeah. You got a 49% chance. I think it'd be really fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now you got to hit it again because you had to make a um, saving throw. So square, throw. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, you can, <laughs> you can do that with dead bodies too. What's that up at the top? Frenzied Ooh. strike. Yeah, do that. There you go. Nice critical hit. He's done. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's fucking done. All right, so we got Shadow Heart here. I missed. Oh, I can't even catch my breath. We are in a big clusterfuck because I didn't realize that I have no weapons. I'm sorry, baby. It's alright. You got this. I mean... Just do something. You can pick up a fucking goblin. Well, I mean, it's on you. But, no, oh, it's no, not. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Maybe just look at the screen. But you can pick up a goblin. I can throw that motherfucker. Yeah, I just did. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm like, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm gonna let that bite happen, just because I feel like a uh, bardic inspiration will come in handy a little later. That's cool. I'm sorry, baby. That's cool. I don't mean anything by it, but like I want you to succeed in a bardic inspiration somewhere else. You know what I mean, right, K9? Bardic inspiration is useful when you least expect it. Save it outside of battle. <laughs> and you never know. Um, let's see. We're gonna smack him in the face. Um, she has tenacity because you know. Well, so much for peace. Oh. Is there only one guy left? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. You can use your jump to try to get over to the warg. What warg? I don't know where he is. Uh, where we're fighting. Well. Alright, let's see. We have... Short sword... Short sword. Um, I picked the uh, others. Lion I'm exhausted. That, uh, Better find somewhere to camp soon. Well, you gotta read them. What was the lion breaker boots on? What did they do? I know, right? You're not lying there, though. <laughs> Bardic Inspiration is, like, OP, but as long as you know when to spend it. Because you can spend it in battle, but it could be also saved for just that one moment 
that one moment in battle or in dialogue where it's like, it, it saved me. <laughs> it turned the tides for everybody. Um, let's see. I am ready. All that needs to go to my dude. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Oh, I'm sorry. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Sorry. You must be Hel... Hel... Helson? The Master Helson of the Emerald Grove? Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. The mare is but a noble beast. I will not fear it or abandon it. Ah, lunatic then. A jest. I truly am grateful. If only I could repay you. Hmm, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Definitely not. Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? By the way, um, K9. What do you think of Baldur's Gate 3 and how they have integrated, um, I would say, D&D &D 5E? Because I know that D&D &D is like going through a lot of changes right now. But what do you think of Larian Studios um, doing with Baldur's Gate 3 now? And, like, I'm not going to be upset if you're like, nah, I don't like what they're doing. Um, I just want your perspective on it. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them, and it's where you'll find your cure. Nice. I am really glad to hear that, because I know that you, in, in like, at least from what we talk about, I know that you play a lot of 5e and to see that Larian at least brought that aspect of what you love about D&D &D into Baldur's Gate 3 and being able to watch it and be like, you know what, I know how my players feel 
or I, Hey, I'm a player and I know how that feels because we, we've all, well, I can't say we've all played D and D, but you know, we all know that experience in D and D where it's like that dice roll. You're wishing for that one moment where it's like, uh, can it hit? And it doesn't hit. And it's fucking devastating, you know, but you keep playing that game and maybe later on down the road, something different happens. And I'm so happy to hear that you are enjoying that because I know that you build worlds around that. You know, we've talked for a long time and especially with like D and D and you do such like such a great job with that stuff. And for you to love what Larian has done with this, it shows me that they've done right because you make your own campaigns, you know? So yeah, it's, it's, it's really good to hear that. You know, it's not easy making a campaign either. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. By the way, I just wanted to put this out here. My wife has never played D&D. This is like her first D&D experience. So everything she's choosing is just, it's on her. You know? I wonder if this is guesswork, you know? I'm as certain as I can be. If you have a better alternative, I won't stop you. I can't stop you, in fact, which brings me to my next problem. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. So, quick question to you, Miss Lucy. Who's your favorite character so far? And to K9, who's your favorite character? I don't know. Like, do you like Astarion? I've hardly gotten into the game. I can't say. No? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, how do I help, man? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. I mean, having a shape-shifting bear druid at my side would make things a little easier. <laughs> it's a tough question, isn't it? I, I, I am with you on that, my love. And I agree. Both of them are but I mean, amazing. I, I think he should go back. Honestly, he needs to save his. Oh, yeah. That witch in there is. I think I think we can take care of this, don't you, Lucy? Meddling too much. Yeah, please, we got this. Please get the there safety. There is in. no safety, not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. So if I tell him to follow me, do you think he'll go to camp for now, or he, he's gonna no, take he, over Astarian's place? Um, hold on. 
I'm going to mute it for a second. Sorry, everybody. It's not to spoil anything. It's just to explain things. Um, well, no, I won't. I won't mute it. Uh, so if you say, hey, you're useful. Come with me. He's going to start attacking everybody in the camp that we're fighting right now. So if you want him to be hostile to everybody that we're fighting right now, yes. If you say, hey, all right, wait here, I'll take care of things, then he's going to chill out and we'll take care of things. So it's up to you. I don't, I, I don't want to give away too much because that's not fair. Um, but I will give away this. So we're going to have to kill everybody in here. No, we don't necessarily have to kill everybody in to here. get him out? No. No, we do not have to kill everybody in here to get him out. No, that's not true. I'm just saying, like, if you tell him, follow me, let's kill people, everybody's going to become hostile. If you say, hey... Stick behind, chill out, we can go about it a different way. That's all I'll say. I don't want to give okay, too much well, away. I'll, I'll have him with there then, because I don't need someone just starting fights. And, um, let me get him out of here. May Sylvanas guide your hand. Dying. Focus <laughs> on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Sorry, I didn't mean to really take that away from you because that is important you know what i mean like i feel like i'm being a dm right now and that's you know what i mean Scorching out again. oh yeah that your turn your turn yeah, i don't know astarian is amazing everybody's like I've had multiple people ask me, why is Astaria in the face of Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> and I'm like, he's really not. <laughs> he is amazing. Oh, but he is not the face of Baldur's Gate 3. Am I right? Or am well, I wrong? Say if it was in a movie, the person in the front gets paid the most. Right. But in a game, it doesn't matter whose face is on the what and where. Like, look at look at Rockstar. Look at GTA. There's yeah. a lady on the front. You never see her in the game at all. Yeah. So it really don't matter on games who's on the cover. Although, Astarion's voice actor won, I think it was two or three voice acting awards this year. Oh, well, good for him. Or Well, last year. I know we're... Going but that into has a nothing to do with having your face. Right. Fair enough. Or no. That's character. not what they were going for. They weren't going for, oh, well, he is going to be the face of Baldur's Gate. Well, I'm just re retorting to whoever was like, oh, well, they're the main character because he's on the front cover. <laughs> you had to say it like that? <laughs> yeah. Where the hell am I and how the hell do I get out of here? I agree. I agree. Astarion's voice acting. It, but let's be honest. You can tell that Larian Studios treated their voice actors very well. If they didn't, they would not have put so much effort into their voice acting work. Am I right? Yeah, no, I totally agree. I totally agree, K9. I don't really see anything over here. You got a lot of stuff to sell. <laughs> you think? Yeah. But do you want? A little bit. 
Oh. Guidance. Go into your inventory real quick, babe. Um, Astarion's inventory real quick. Hit L2. What a day. What's the necklace that he's wearing? Put that one on. Yes, sir, sir. Well, that's going to help you, like, go to his necklaces. Did you already put it on? Enchantment spell. Yep. Yeah. Wait, no. That's not right. Go over to that's your necklace. That's what you just gave me. No, it's not. Go over to your necklaces. Hit X. Oh, I guess it is. This is what I had on. Yeah. Where you cast dancing lights, which I don't even know what that is and haven't even done it. Well, dancing lights is literally to distract an enemy. So what does the enchantment spell do? Um, Animal friendship. So if you have an animal that we're going up against, you can enchant them. They're going to be like, hey, little buddy, I'm so excited. I'm going to smack you out. <laughs> hey, will you be my friend? Absolutely. Okay, whatever. <laughs> As a lot better than the... Um, dancing what, circles. Yeah, dancing circles, lights, know. dancing lights. Because you want to talk to that rat. What rat? The one that just walked right by us. Oh, I guess. I just said I'm surprised. Foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. B.O. You got a lot of B.O. going. Yep. He did not like me. He didn't like the stinky pits. Um, Just I'm going to give us a uh, short rest real quick. Okay. So, where are we going next? Crazy. Uh, probably. I ain't never felt so around anymore. I got to use the restroom real quick. Can we take a short break? Sure. Okay. So we'll be right back, everybody. It won't take long. I get to take a bathroom break along with Lucy. We'll be back shortly. All right, well, let's put our stream on. Oi. Oh, well, we got to put Lucy's stream on. Um, there's a lot of ways to go. You lead the way. Well, I've seen you do the walking, I'll do the talking. Prisoner, I I guess, to so um, the, I don't know. The leaders to well, what reach. does it say? <clears throat> I wonder if we should. There's a guy over here. Help. Hi, how are you? Oh, Don't go bothering sorry. my pigeon. He's I did mine. not mean to talk to her. Right. Um, so I see. Do you have plans for this so called pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm so sorry, K9. You see what he he said? Um, he's like, welcome back. I've been hearing these two <laughs> goblins saying the same thing for like five minutes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, K9. I apologize, my dude. <laughs> I, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at the situation. I apologize. Um, your pet is actually a rather famous writer. I'm sure she cares. But I was admiring him, and I like one of my own. Then catch one on your own. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Um, he looks weak, sick, even. Uh, he won't last long in there. Why don't you set him free? On your and you'll see a world of pure inebriation. <laughs> Take him for a jog, why don't you? And don't let the lad snatch him up. No, tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. <laughs> I'll Maybe do the talking. Wayne over here. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Remember my name when you're crediting, crediting the story's author. It's Mr. John J O H N Wayne W A Y N E dot period. You don't have to put the dot, just period. And then just make sure that you emphasize the mister. Thank you. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Uh, fine, 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 fine. I guess you can go to my camp. Uh, we will talk there, I suppose, but... I would like to hear more of your stories. Sound good? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Dramatic. <laughs> he absolutely is dramatic. He is a diva. <laughs> mm. Aren't all bards? Um, all, all bards are divas. You're welcome. <laughs> you're traveling with one. What do you mean you're welcome? I mean, I you, like, yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> what well, you don't think that it's a gift? All right, you ready to start uh, messing some stuff up? Do you want to save that dude? Uh, uh sure. Sure. Whatever you want to do. Well, it's saying defeat goblins. So Luna, as if mingling with a horde uh, of goblins what? wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Um. I'm guessing this isn't your usual haunt, right? Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. I did not quite. Oh, vile idolatry. Makes my stomach turn. 
sounds like she really wants to get For out once, of here. The goblin's decorations are an improvement. Yeah. But we need to get him out. So Faith is obedience. Follow my teachings. Follow <laughs> Raglin's orders. Obey the drow. <laughs> serve the absolute problems. and you may so, there be is. chosen. Way too many goblins. How are we gonna get home now? We can get if them he, out. If he's violent. Absolute he's looking out for me now. That's up to you to figure out. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. Maybe if you want to talk to this one, yeah. You, know, you want me like to talk to her? He, he lo or it looks like it's in charge, whatever it is. Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Um... I'm assuming this mark has a purpose? Shows our devotion to the absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Mm, I guess. Here's my arm. Hold still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. I'm going to push deeper into her mind. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Um... Do you think you can fix who whatever is causing those shadows with the absolute's will i can fix anything let's deal with this in my chapel it's private don't want this lot interfering with true soul business Oi, priestess like us we want them all why do they think they're talking yeah. to a god ain't we good enough for the Perhaps absolute that's how we would have ended up had our nautiloid not been attacked I'm walking towards her. <laughs> I don't know if this is a bad thing or a good thing. Never done this part. I'll stay somewhat close by, so... Oi, come here. I ain't nearby. ready to clear your head. Uh, actually, yeah. I'm ready to clear my head. Don't want to cry to gulpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Oh, what? Wow. Lame. I want to see your eyeball get plucked out. Oh, gee, thanks. Or, or your head drilled into you. Oh, okay. <laughs> thanks. Ready to clear your head? Sure, I'm ready. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. 
don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So... There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind, like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Um... I'm gonna allow her to rummage through my memories. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Hells! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. <laughs> Um, I'm actually pretty sure one of these parasites is squirming around in your head, too. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices, too, yeah? Um, I still have my senses. I'll find another way to deal with it. No. You ain't leaving till we get to the bottom of this. You could be dangerous. You too, lady. Okay, but what does your plan involve? It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. Um... I guess. Do what you have to do. Just get rid of it. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the Absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. Um, that'll put me to sleep. Are you trying to trick me? I ain't deceiving nobody. I'm trying to help. Mm, I'm not drinking that. I guess we're doing this the hard way then. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> dreams. I made of these. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. Can't imprisoned again. The absolute <laughs> wants to know all Second about time that in creature in your head. So start talking. <clears throat> Look. I was abducted, a mind flayer infected me, and that's all I know. I know that much. I saw the whole horrible story in your memories. And I know what happens next. Your teeth fall out, your skin rips off, and you turn into one of them. Yes, I turn into one of them. But, you're infected too. The same thing will happen to you. So why are you interrogating me? Lies! I'm stronger than ever. And I've got the absolute on my side. But you, you're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. You test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to disco discolate my <laughs> disc locate Dis Jesus. Dislocate. Thank you. Disloc. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> words, man. <laughs> I'm going to 
dislocate my wrist <laughs> and wiggle free. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Most welcome. Anytime. You slip free of the chains. I'll meet up with you. Right. <clears throat> I don't know if I uh, should leave Shadowheart here on her own. Dude, <laughs> you're not lying, K9. Words are difficult. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Hell, words are so difficult, I need my wife to fucking <laughs> pronounce them for me. Um, can you break down this door? I'm stuck. <laughs> you want to move Shadowheart out the way? Um, yeah. I mean, I guess I could have had a syringe. Oh, oh the you're the best. You didn't see nothing. Keep walking. Although we should, I don't know, talk to other people in here besides that lady that just fucking imprisoned me. Wait, what does that say over there? I don't know the what diamond is going on here. I don't know what the two is. Well, we can sell stuff for that. It's just saying rescue, defeat goblin leaders, and uh, defeat goblin leaders. And, um, we can sell leaders. Like if you come over here, we can sell goods. This lady right here, Roja, Moonglow. That's what that bag is for. Huh? Yep. Yeah, the, anytime you see a bag, that's where you can sell stuff. And you got a lot of that shit. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. What is going on with my leg? You see that? Mm-mm. She kept lifting it up. <laughs> I gave you both legs in the air. Your girl was like, uh, yeah. Legs in the air. I'm just saying. I, I mean, I didn't do it. Your girl did it. You're not a normal trader, are you? You're part of the black net. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader. Just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? What business do you have in goblin camp? I don't, I don't get it. What's with that? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Uh -huh. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. What the goblins want was smoke powder. Ask the drow they're all bowing to. That glint in her eye is bad news for someone. Not my concern, so long as I'm paid. Speaking of, something to trade or what? 
history bob let me just keep tapping my leg and see your stuff here Ooh, go over to your right. Keep going over to your right. All the way over there. I want to see if that's a hand crossbow. To your right. Oh, Keep going. Well, you down, should have said on the... Down one. To your right one. No, that's two-handed. Go over to your left. One more. Yeah. Nope. Damn, that sucks. I'm looking for a one-handed crossbow, sorry. My lady can have a heavy crossbow, can't she? Oh yeah, she can hold a heavy crossbow. Absolutely. Um, hell, the one all the way to the right might even be better. We just gotta keep going back and forth to see, uh... Mm, yeah, that heavy crossbow is probably better. Yeah, because you get the two moves or the two things, and it's a little bit more damage, not much, but yep. possible damage. Yep, no, you're right. That axe, though, might be better for that blue axe up top. One up, nope. Go back over to the axe that you were looking at to the right. Go up one. Yeah. Blooded Great Axe, Relentless re Revenge. When the wielder has 50% health points or less, they deal an additional 1 to 4 slashing damage. Yeah, that's pretty fucking badass. I think I'm going to get me this. Well, there's always that crossbow, too. Um, you can sell a bunch of other stuff that you're holding on to. I'm, I yeah, mean, what's I... Rotten, what's Rotten Egg? I'm getting what's that about. It, it literally will give you food poisoning, so... Yay! Food poisoning. Anything that's rotten is going to poison you for 10 turns. But you can wipe poisons onto your weapon too, so... You got multiple shovels. Don't wear your pretty little face. My pretty little face? I'll be back.
Miss Lucy has tasked me with getting rid of all of this nonsense. Damn, she's got a lot of stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, not some good heavy armor. stuff too but quite a bit of stuff my love mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. got rid of a lot of stuff too I know things are expensive in D&D &D, aren't they <clears throat> sure pleasure yeah. things are expensive in the real world <laughs> you ain't lying there my love You can send those books and stuff back to camp. These? Mm hmm. The whole square. If you hold square, you can send multiple. Yeah, well, I mean, anything. Like, legitimately, you can hold square on, let's I, say, I like. Don't, I don't know. Well, I don't want to overburden you with, you know what I mean, like, stuff you can do. That way you're not like, wait, what am I doing again? Wait, let's see somewhere, I guess. Um, yeah. Place what? Liar. Um, yeah, you can put it back in <coughs> camp. Because my character's not going to have a need for this. I mean, you can sell it if you really want. Because if anybody's going to play like a liar or a loot. It's you. Yeah, it's going to be me. So, I mean, if you want to just grab the money for it, then. I'll get like what? 14 bucks. Whee! Yeah, I mean, maybe. If that. Well, isn't that what that says on there? 
doesn't mean what you're gonna get for it. Wow. Just like in real life. Well, hello. Anybody else need this necklace? Did you take it or anything? What necklace? The one that Sterling had on. I know. What is it? Dancing lights? Yeah. I mean, it's an okay spell, but it's a level one spell. Not really that important. We can sell it and be all right. Way better level one spells. I'm not going to say it's a horrible spell because it's not, but there's other spells you can. Yeah, I found kind of no use for it. Yeah. It's a good distraction. You know what I mean? If you need a distraction, sure. But, I mean, you're a barbarian. Distractions are not your <laughs> forte. You are a big zug-zug. Oh, I almost fell off the bus. What do you mean? I think you'd be alright. You won't fall off for nothing. Well, I mean, it's a gap. <laughs> Whoa, no way. Whoa. I just dropped rice on the floor. Good job. I know. Such a great job. I'm a horrible person. I mean, I can't tell you how much of a good job that is. Oh my god. Can you ever forgive me? Probably not. I know. There are big giant spiders down there. <laughs> You're not lying there, K9. <laughs> Barbarians. Barbarians are like, I'm not a distraction. You're not a distraction. <laughs> this ain't the party, pal. We're working here. No, oh, I love that. Thank you, K9, for that. <laughs> I keep dropping rice on the floor. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sure you're supposed to use a spoon, not a fork. I know. I'm going to have to back in tomorrow. Keep moving, unless you're wanting a clubbing and drubbing. I don't know what the fuck a drubbing is. What are you doing? Making sure the cat can come in here. What are you doing? I thought you were grabbing that. No. <laughs> Eat your chicken. <laughs> well, the cat ran away. Worst streamer ever. Boss Ranksland. Not you. When he said anyone could join the absolute ranks. Wiggling everywhere. <laughs> I think you have a hole in your mouth. 
<laughs> I dropped the water bottle. The cat was trying to, um... A squirt bottle, not water. If you're close Whatever. enough squirt to squirt talk bottle. with me, then you're too The cat was close. trying to come into the, um, office. And then I dropped it. <laughs> and it worked perfectly. Because it scared her off. <laughs> Sorry about that. I am the worst. I am a horrible streamer today. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. <laughs> the hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Uh, well, I haven't, thank you, but, uh... Yeah, I haven't really made a habit of this thing. What kind of ceremony is this? Guess you're a thick one. So I'll tell it straight. We're gonna make the carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call deck Shulko Kank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing creature from the wreckage your heart seizes under questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer good morning Marie welcome to stream talk to me you freak who killed you the creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it! That tells me nothing! The memory fades, and the corpse awaits the next question. Tell me who killed you, freak! No games! Again, a vision comes to you. A memory, seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand opening a holding pod. The murk clears to reveal a face. Yours. That can't be! You, you're no true soul! What? 
We're gonna be fighting, baby. You can always hit R3 too to see what you have advantage on. Damn. I guess I'll try to cast the check thoughts on him. See what's going on in that brain. You can add a bonus. Yeah, use my party. Inspiration. Might as well, right? Oh my god. So I didn't need it, I guess. Nope. I won't take this disrespect line down. I'm the boss. I'm the absolute right hand. <laughs> Yo, K9, you ain't lying. <laughs> right there, he's like, let's go with that nat 20. It's on you, babe. <laughs> it's a mistake. My true soul, remember? Be protected. You can use my bardic inspiration if you absolutely need it. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it couldn't hurt, I suppose. Oh, oh wow. That hurts. Guess it didn't matter. You can use, uh, we, we got some inspiration. One more, one more again. Oh, ouch. Thank goodness. Hopefully, um, you can get some sleep yeah. soon. Yeah, you're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Can you do your own dirty work? Say that again. Cause Can I know I work? didn't just hear you refuse the absolute. Getting water all over the place. <laughs> hmm. Who's Mithra? Yeah. Manthara? Yeah. I can't tell you that. You can't tell me who it is? No. Fine, we'll just talk to him. Falling in line. Just what I like to see. All this right. weapon the cult is after. <laughs> you oh, you can't sleep for it? three hours? Ouch. If that's the case, that's rough. We've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Are you at work right now, Marie? And they'll know she is a 
salute! You sit at her table. You drink. Oh, damn. You. That's rough. Well, hopefully work goes well and you're not having too rough of a day because that always makes things rough. I, I know I said that like twice. Oh, hopefully you're not having too rough of a day because that makes things rough. Like, okay, John. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hopefully it goes by fast so you can get some rest. Yeah, I can only imagine. I've pulled some, uh, you know, 12 hour shifts, 18 hour shifts. They're never any fun. Where are you up. at? I Best lost not you. to do anything suspicious yeah, while it's watching. And... Oh. Well, the door is open over here, my love. Listen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got this. You. I'm our enemy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, just hoping stuff goes like just smoothly. Just like, all right, it's got to go smooth. Oh, damn. How did that go? Do you think the dwarf is ready yet? I'm hungry. Were you able to get a nap in at least? Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found. I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. Ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Not really, but you know. How do you know I'm a true soul? You know, I'm pretty sure I know this answer. Why do you ask? Surely you feel the absolute moving through me, just as I feel her in you. Now, you must hunt with me. In her name. Woo! Hunt? Who's the target? What? Worshippers of a false god. 
Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, <coughs> and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. The thief whimpering in our dungeon tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Damn, that's rough. Only having a few hours of sleep in between. Ugh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I commend you, Marie. Hopefully you can make it through it. I know you can make it through it. That's rough. I will try to warn them because man, these people suck. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. I can be very persuasive. I can visit that broken neck. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. Yeah, I'll get right on that later. Do you How know what prisoner he's talking Plenty about? Plenty of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. <laughs> These pariahs, they're prepared to fight for the absolute. What they do ain't exactly fighting. All they gotta do is light up their powder and burn. Then they're prepared. Coffee's to like die my life blood. Good. Dying's the only thing they're good at. Raiders are just waiting for the word, mistress. We're ready for anything. And the prisoner? We're still working on him. So are we gonna continue on or are we gonna stop here? Well, I was listening to them conversate. Absolutely. Prisoner, I'll talk. Your lady shirt. Come back Spike tomorrow. always makes him talk. If he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. Yeah. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. I think it's getting a little late. The for prisoner us. can keep his tongue. It's Spike's. So we gotta get to the gym tomorrow, around noon. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of sleep. <laughs> Yo, you're not lying there. Coffee has a lot of downsides and a lot of upsides. What are we waiting for? Spears are sharp. Uh, are let's put our stream endings on. Um, before we do, let's go ahead and save. I gotta say though, Miss Lucy, you're doing uh, an amazing job at actually getting through a lot of this stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're doing good. I mean, let's be honest, there's no wrong way to play an no. RPG, <clears throat> but overall, I think that you're doing a great job at choosing your decisions and stuff like that, and you're like, hey, go talk to that person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn bard. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Yeah, you, you, you little gnome, go talk to that person. Um... Well, we're going to go get some rest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marie. You're like, hey, you're going to go get some rest? I got to be up for another three hours, you son of a bitch. Um, I apologize. I know that um, you're coming in. And uh, it's been a rough night for you. Hopefully, um, you get through the night.
quite quickly because it is it, man late nights can be so freaking rough they can be so rough um virtual hugs to you lady i will me and the wife will be streaming tomorrow as well you know Aw, oh, thank you so much, K9. You too, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> Sorry we had such a, like, chaotic stream. Especially with me. What was I trying to pronounce earlier? I had to have Miss Lucy. Dislocate. Oh, yes. Dislocate. <laughs> oh, man. Miss Lucy had to uh, help me out with that one. So... Oh, I appreciate that, Marie. I really appreciate that. All right, everybody. I know that it has only been a three-hour stream, or, well, almost a three-hour stream, but I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the stream while me and Miss Lucy... Play some Baldur's Gate 3. You want to tell everybody goodbye real quick? Bye! <laughs> With that being said, I want to tell everybody have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off. <laughs>